Crypto Lightsaber back with another video guys. We're going to talk about the Bandit Project which is launching today at 1 to 3 p.m. EST. It is a stealth launch so we don't know exactly what time it's going to be launching but it will be between that time. I know for me in the UK this is later on in the evening so you can check on Google find out what time that is for you. All right guys so you're going to be able to buy your Bandit tokens on PancakeSwap, PlueCoin, whatever your exchange of choice. Also you'll be able to mint your NFTs which you can then stake in the platform for 2%, uh, up to 2% a day ROI. If you see my previous videos, you already know what this is about. All right, guys, but there are three tiers of NFTs. you got your rare, uh, well, depending on how rare your NFTs are, right, uh, it's 1%, 1.5%, or 2% will be the highest tier of NFT. All right, guys, and you're going to be able to mint those using the bandit token so straight away that is utility for the bandit token straight away that's taking bandit tokens out of circulation right but uh, i've talked about that in previous videos so you can go and check out those previous videos what i want to talk about in this video is the bank heist all right guys so the bank heist is going to enable you to pair up your bnb bandit tokens to earn platform fees and all that sort of stuff but what we're going to do is we're going to dive into the white paper to find out exactly what is the best strategy to take advantage of the this revenue share in the bank guys all right guys so first of all another thing to take note of is the laundromat right so the laundromat is the lp pairing tool which enables you to get the liquidity pool tokens all right guys and by using the laundromat it's going to be similar to the uh, the uh, the drip liberation contract in the animal farm, right? It's basically going to enable you to bypass the 10% tax on the bandit token, the 10% purchase fee. All right, guys. So you can actually use BNB and BUSD to zap in to the LP tokens, right? Um, obviously, uh, what it will do is we'll buy bandit tokens and then the rest of it will be paired up into BNB uh, for the liquidity. But you're not going to pay the 10% purchase fee on the bandit, right? So let's say, for example, you want to put $1,000 into bandit, right? Um, it's going to cost you $100 to buy the tokens, right, on the exchange. But if you want to pair it up with LP, you don't want to go over and buy the $1,000 worth of Bandit and then add $1,000 uh, of, of BNB because you're going to pay that 10% fee. So what you would do is just go go over with $2,000 of BNB or BUSD and zap in and it will just pair up the Bandit for you, a 50-50 ratio. You can then come over to the bank heist, and we're going to read all about it, all right, guys. But just before we get there, in a nutshell, if you want to skip that, um, it's basically going to give you a revenue share. You're going to be getting daily rewards, daily dividends, which you can claim every day from the NFT mint and deposit fees, the taxes from the stash house, right? If you don't know what the stash house is, you can go check that out. Read, you know, do your own research, guys, right? But you're getting the taxes from the stash house. You're getting the fees from the NFT mints and deposits. You're getting a portion of that. You're going to get uh, fees from the play to earn revenue, right? Uh, or a share of the play to earn game revenue, right? When that launches. Also, you're going to get a portion of the trading tax fees and dividends from whatever real world revenue streams they have going forward so this will basically make you like an owner of the platform let's just read what it says here everyone who participates in the bank heist will have a part ownership of the project's revenue share that means that you get paid every time a user buys sells claims creates or deposits bandit tokens into an nft the bank heist will provide a banking function for the investors to take part ownership of the platform by locking up their lp funds to receive bnb busd and bandit payouts from the platform's transactions to incentivize longer stakes, funds sent to the bank are distributed accordingly amongst four time-locked tiers. Stakeholders will receive a daily payout based on their percentage stake in their, uh, their respective time-locked tiers. After the time lock expires, you can unstake your LP tokens or restate them to continue receiving daily claimable payouts. All right, guys. So the distribution is split between the time-locked tiers. So it's 5% to the 30 days, 15% for the 90 days, 30% for the 180-day tier, and 50% for the 365 days tier. So this is not 5%. That's not your dividends, right? It's 5% of all of the revenue share. 
right? That's 15% of all of the revenue share across all of these things right here, right? So let's say, for example, um, let's just go at 50%, yeah? So let's say the revenue share fees were 100,000, right? If you're locked up for 365 days, then 50,000 is going to be shared out between the stakers in this time lock all right guys so that is a pretty good model uh, for you to take advantage of i haven't talked about it on the channel before but it's definitely one that i'm considering more than the nft staking to be honest all right guys uh, because you know the nfts you don't really know what nft you're going to get when you mint the nft right and um, you might get a one percent a day payout but that's definitely still good of course that's no different to drip network or Cairo or something like that, uh, but you can get a 1.5% 1 1 NFT or the 2%, it is a bit of a gamble because you don't know what NFT you're going to get. I think there's a lot of potential to make even more of a return on your investment by staking in the bank heist, only because obviously you're getting a revenue share of every NFT that's minted, bought and sold, you're getting a revenue share of the tokens that are being bought and sold on the market, right? So you're making money whether the token goes up or whether it goes down because you're getting a revenue share of the fees to transact, uh, that, that are being used to transact on that, right guys? So I just wanted to highlight that. Um, this is a strategy that I'm considering, right? So uh, yeah, the bank heist is definitely um, something that I'm looking at more, more so. So when it comes to building a team, Right, someone asked me, Am I building a team? I really haven't decided about building a team or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, you can use uh, my link in the description to, to join the team. Um, you know, I haven't considered like doing airdrops and all that sort of stuff. Like, I'm just more interested personally in, um, you know, pairing up some LP potentially and um, getting some of those fees. And I think that when people start seeing the dividends to that, it might bring a lot more investors into this project. All right, guys. So you can look at it all on the website it's all on here in a nice fancy way for you to look at if you'd like to look at it that way i just wanted to get into the white paper just to make sure that we weren't missing anything if you did get in the pre-sale i'm sure there is uh you know if you go into the dap i'm sure that there is yeah so you've got the pre-sale um you've got the pre-sale page here so you could probably go over here and claim your tokens i do recommend you jump into the telegram where it's all going down they've got a marketing rollout they've got a partnership with neo pr you're going to be helping to support the launch and of course you did you may have noticed that golems gems actually posted this all right guys they've got the twitter influencers they've got the telegram influencers they've got the youtube influencers and they also have the marketing agency so hopefully that will be a good thing in terms of getting the word out I believe that the marketing rollout will do pretty good. Also, they did a AMA with James Pelton, I believe. So, uh, yeah, they did an AMA with myself as well. You can go and check that out on the channel if you didn't hear that. Um, yeah, I think they're a pretty decent project, guys. Uh, let's see how it goes. I'm going to leave all the links in the description. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tip the little bell for notifications. Please like the video. That helps with the YouTube algorithm. YouTube will begin to recommend my content to people that may not have seen it otherwise. And that being said, it's the end of the video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next one.